What's up, YouTube family? What's up, YouTube family? It's your girl Nisi Dan with Squirrel Gang here with another video, here with another banger. So today we're gonna be getting into nails, okay? Not a certified nail tech by no means, but one of my little hidden talents that I learned. Super quick learner during the pandemic, kind of just got on the computer, you know, just started kind of looking up some things, wanted to get my nails done. Everything was closed. You know how the story goes. It was history from there. So today we're going to be taking off these hideous things that I got done. I actually, the last set that I had on, I got them done from a local um, shop. I had all of my nail stuff packed away, so I just pulled it out. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Stay tuned okay YouTube so um I am not going to full-on um, do a video of my entire takedown and the entire process of me um, doing my uh, application of my nails only because it's gonna take an extremely long time so um, I what I'm gonna get ready to do now is just take down um, the old acrylic okay I'm using just a nail drill that I got from Amazon it's, it's a pretty good nail nail drill I, I believe it was only about maybe fifty dollars sixty dollars somewhere around that um yeah a lot of nail techs know that that is an expensive for a nail drill nail drills are typically um, pretty costly because they are very valuable when it comes to the process of um, doing your nails so yeah so $60 is a decent price for a nail drill um, <clears throat> I've also got a ton of these bits um, depending on what you're doing this is actually like a let me see what is this this is a coarse bit okay and what coarse bits do obviously is they take down the bulk of your nails <clears throat> they take down the bulk of the acrylic on your nails so they tend to be a little bit stronger um they tend to have bigger teeth on them okay so right now that is what i'm going to be doing typically when i take my um nails down i typically put my dr my drill on about an 11 uh which is a higher speed um i don't recommend this if you do not do nails if you're not used to doing nails um yeah i'm putting it on 11 because trying to get done I'm trying to take them down quickly and I pretty much have uh, experience with it for me I found that the drill works better however when I first started out I would soak my nails with acetone um, I would try to pop them off with another nail which is really not good it's very unhealthy for you to rip your nails off okay any licensed nail tech will tell you that it is very unhealthy for your nail beds to just go ripping your um, your fake nails off you should not do that okay so I am gonna drill most of the acrylic off okay obviously I just turned my drill up to 16 only because it was taking a little bit too long for me um yeah and obviously once I start getting down closer to my nail bed I will turn the drill down um, before I continue with this video of course I'm gonna ask everybody to like comment and subscribe if you are not already subscribed if you are subscribed you the ish thank you so much for the support so if you don't have experience I, I would definitely recommend um, soaking off your artificial nails with the acetone never press down directly on the nail you're always going from an angle okay you're never pressing down directly on the nail that way you're always going from an angle and guys typically when I'm taking my uh, nails down I take them down over I have a um 
I have a dust collector okay so the acrylic isn't just flying all over the place right now I have a few paper towels down however I am making quite the mess right now but just for the sake of getting done and you know not having to pull all that stuff out I'm gonna just do it on top of the paper towels okay YouTube so here's how my nails are looking I drilled off the acrylic okay rule of thumb is when you're uh, taking off one set and you are um, applying another set never fully drill take soak or whatever um, all of the acrylic off of your nails because you're supposed to leave a little bit of it just you know for protection and obviously when you're drilling you do not want to um, have the drill come too close to your nail bed so this is how they are looking and I took the artificial nails off now I am going to okay I'm just going to hit my nail beds with a little bit of this swipe is called okay basically like an alcohol um, based and what it does is it basically dehydrates my nails disinfects them and kinda just preps my nails my nail beds for the set that I'm getting ready to apply it also softens up my nail bed so that when I uh, do my cuticle work which is what I'm getting ready to do just kinda like clean my cuticles up real good it's gonna soften up my cuticles um, to make for an easier uh, cleanup okay so this is swipe and I get it from young nails okay so that's that this is what the nails are looking like okay and so now I'm gonna go back in with my drill and I am going to find a fine grit very fine grit drill bit I'm gonna switch them out okay this is my extremely fine grit nail bit and I'm just gonna switch them out okay and as you can see it's kinda of tapered in a little bit it's bigger at the bottom smaller at the top um, that makes it easy for you to get around your cuticles okay so I'm just gonna do a little bit of cuticle work I'm gonna put my drill on no higher than five okay and I'm just gonna kinda go around okay you'll see well I'm gonna turn it up a little bit just a little bit I always have to work a little higher so I have it on seven now okay and I'm just gonna kinda slowly go around my cuticles like so and get a lot of that and God knows I have a lot of dead skin and cuticle like excuse my nasty looking hands but I have a lot of dead cuticle and just dry skin around there from just not really taking care of my hands I haven't done my own nails in quite some time so yeah okay so I'm just gonna go around my cuticle this is not hurting me at all okay the drill is on low and the bit is real fine so it's not hurting me hopefully you guys had a good day also definitely peaceful I did not go to work out today guys I just um you know I pretty much rested I will be going um, by let's see today is Thursday I will be going to the gym at least by Sunday um, so yeah I have been just a little lifestyle update I have been adhering to a pretty strict um, regimen as far as my food goes I have not been OD and eating snacks and none of that yeah I just got through um, doing some cuticle work just cleaning up the cuticles and then I applied this protein bond by young nails I'm not sure if you can really see it yeah 
okay that just helps to adhere the artificial nails the next step is going to be the tips I already told you the tips of visor lays okay and obviously at this point you just go through the tips and find which tip best fits your nails hey YouTube so I picked out my nail tips okay picked them out of quarter size lined them up I always kind of clip the corners a little bit just to kind of um, custom fit them to the size of my nail beds sometimes you get nail tips they'll fit good sometimes you get nail tips they won't um so yeah so right now I'm just gonna kind of rough up the surface I'm just using a buffing block I'm gonna kind of just rough up the surface of my nails so that way when I put the um, <clears throat> tip on uh, the glue and the tip will pretty much adhere to my nail so that's what I'm doing I'm just roughing up the surface of my nails When you're putting the glue on you do not want to drown the nail okay just a little bit of glue goes a long way a little bit of glue goes a long way you want to press and hold sometimes if you put too much glue what will happen is that the nail will keep popping off um, yeah the nail won't stick if you put too much glue I know sometimes we think more is better but it's not okay so um, the diet change is uh, it's going good definitely going good um, however I ain't even gonna cap shorty I do notice a big difference um, my body be feeling like it's hungry because I'm so used to eating snacks so it's not easy but anything worth having is not gonna be easy um, change is not gonna be easy discipline is definitely not easy um, so yeah but I'm still you know basically keeping a positive attitude and I pretty much just tell myself it's not the end of the world I don't need this that and the third um, and it's really really not that that serious and I do also notice that when see because our bodies and our minds are programmed okay so if your body and your mind is used to doing a certain thing at a certain time that's when it's typically gonna go into that crave mode so um typically throughout my day what I have been doing is obviously at nighttime if I'm used to you know Netflix chill and snacks um I'll still do my Netflix chill and snacks but I'll just substitute it obviously with something a lot more healthier um I have things like rice cakes I have the um his pretzels there's chips that are only you know literally 100 calories uh, 120 calories per serving things like that so you know a lot of times it's just that craving that we miss okay we may miss that crunch we may miss that sweetness the salt you know things like that a lot of times is what we're craving so what I'm finding though a lot of times is that if I just substitute what I'm craving with something a bit healthier it does satisfy me okay um, however I may you know my mind definitely may tell me that oh you want to eat more of that or that's not really gonna fulfill you but you know I just have to talk to myself give myself a pep talk and be realistic and say um, you know a lot of times I'll talk to myself just like this Janice a lot of times you were used to overeating like there's no reason to eat until you are completely just full and stuffed you can just literally eat a snack until you're slightly satisfied and and you're fine 
you know, like I said, a lot of times it's a mindset. We definitely, as humans, make things out to be a lot harder than they are. Um, so, yeah, it's really not that deep, you know. You know, is it difficult? Yes, it, of course it's difficult. Anything that has to do with transition is going to be difficult. However, is it impossible? Absolutely, positively not. It's not impossible. <clears throat> so, yeah. I just... Like I told you guys in the video, um, in my recent video, I'm just uh, really tired of just feeling how I've been feeling. I mean, you know, I'm not terribly overweight, but at the same time, if it is affecting me at all, then it needs to change. And it is affecting me. My weight is affecting me. Um, and also, just kind of want to share something with you guys. Um, on my last video, shorty, I lied. I lied, not intentionally, but I lied. I told you guys in one of my videos that um, my weight was 207. However, the last time I checked it, it was 207. However, I checked it again um, yesterday, and it was actually not 207. It was 214. So, yeah. So, my weight um, right now is pretty much fluctuating is going up and going down uh, because a few months ago I remember being 214 as well and then like I said I had went down to 207 so yeah the weight fluctuation I'm not I'm not digging it so yeah it's definitely time to buckle down and do something about it okay you don't like your situation change it and that's on period 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 so yeah, I'm just gluing my nails down right now and hoping and praying that they're straight because I know for a fact that I have a finger, no, I have actually two fingers that are crooked. So they tend to be a little bit more challenging for me when I'm putting on the tips. I got to kind of put them on a certain way. So yeah, these tips are, oh, okay, I think I'm pretty sure I to told you guys that they're <clears throat> called C curve um, coffin tips okay the C, C curve just refers to when you look down the barrel of the nail the shape of it it's a little bit more pinched at the top so that's what that's referring to and obviously coffin is the shape of the of the nail itself I tend to love I love coffin shape and I love um, square I'm not really a round girl at all like back in the day, I used to like the square round. I don't think nobody do the square round no more. <laughs> okay, so tips are on. They looking like this. My hands are so dry. Oh my god. But anyway, yeah, the tips are looking like that. Next steps: cutting them down. This is a nail clipper. Okay, cutting the tips down to your desired length. These are a bit long, definitely. Okay. So. Drill back on. And then I will just go over the um, line of demarcation that you can see from where the nail tip meets and your nail meet. I just kind of file down and even out any imperfections with my file okay you can I mean a lot of people do this with a hand file as well I'm just being extra and I'm trying to be quick because I want to get it done with point before you um, put your acrylic on you're gonna want to shape your nails okay welcome back YouTube Okay, so I've already filed, cut and filed my nails. This is what they're looking like. Kind of short, okay. And now I am applying the acrylic, okay. I've already done one nail, but I'm applying the acrylic. Okay, let me try to get in focus where you guys can actually see. Okay, it's always good to apply a clear coat. Blah. 
a clear coat of acrylic. <clears throat> when you start, so that way you will um, basically protect your nails from if you when you go to put color on top of the artificial nail, you have to remember that the bottom of uh, the bottom of your nail is your nail. Okay, the top is where the tip is. So if you go to put a real pigmented color like red, blue, or something like that, like it's going to be extremely hard to get it off because it's as on your actual nail bed. So that's the purpose of putting a clear coat of acrylic first before you um, put any color. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. I don't know if you guys can see or not. This is extremely difficult trying to um, let you guys see what I'm doing. Filming and putting acrylic on at the same time. A little difficult, a little difficult. So kudos to people who do this all the time. All right, YouTube. So, I just started putting some white acrylic on my nails. I decided to do I was going to do an ombre with like white on the bottom, pink on the top, but I think I just decided on just plain white. It's like a milky white from Not Polish. Okay. So, I'm just going through the application process of that. <clears throat> So the thing about acrylic is you have to get your powder to acrylic ratio down. Okay, that's something that is extremely, extremely important because if you got too much uh, liquid, not enough powder, um, it's going to be watery. If you got too much powder, you know what I'm saying. Okay, vice versa. So you have to get your powder liquid ratio down and that takes a while I ain't even going front it does it takes a while it takes a lot of practice a lot of trial and error <sighs> okay YouTube so excuse how I'm looking I'm extremely tired um but so I'm done I just encapsulated my nails and now I have to file them Okay, this is how they look and my hands look terrible right now but yeah so I just encapsulated everything and I'm gonna file YouTube so the end has come I have officially I'm done with my nails I just um buffed them out real good and filed them and shaped them up a little bit more I have to go wash my hands and then I'm thinking about just throwing these cute little stickers on them and then putting a the top coat okay there's a few different ways you can actually put designs on nails stickers on nails there's a few different ways which I'm not gonna get into right now but yeah I just kinda wanted to show you I got a lot of dust and dirt and stuff on my hands so what I'm gonna do is um just basically go wash my hands and then I'll show you the finished product thank you for tuning in YouTube please don't forget to like comment and subscribe please um, post notification post notifications please turn those on and your girl will see you back in another video Gucci 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 oh that's the glitter one Sorry for giving you the middle finger, but that's the. Just trying to get up close enough, but that's the.
one of the Gucci ones. Ooh. Can't really see it too well, but yeah. It's kind of like a Gucci stripe. And Swirl Gang. And we out.